back up to his feet now. I'm surprised that Garner's going for takedowns. They exchange knees to the solar plexus. Oh, a vicious knee from McGrishan on the exit. Garner connects with the straight right hand. Immediately, Grishin closes the distance again. They grapple him on the ropes. Driving the knee into the midsection again is Garner mixing it up here. Does Garner ever set anything up? I haven't seen it. He just throws pops from the word go. Taking a page out of the Leonard Garcia playbook. <laughs> Now Grisham, wanting to block there, a liver shot, oh another left hand to the liver there by Garner, Garner just unloading those left hands, Grisham needs to circle away from the corner. You know, Grisham wanted this fight to go into the second and third round because he feels that Kenny Deuce Garner does gas, he does fatigue later on in the fight, so he, I think he's being smart right now, keeping it tied up. I'm sure the fans who paid their hard-earned money here in the Grand Canyon University Arena wouldn't mind seeing a fight going into the second round as well. <laughs> Again, they continue to jockey for position. The bigger Garner able to control Grishin along the ropes. Takes a settle. Now Grishin pulls out knee to the chin. And body Garner lock. immediately goes for the body lock. Oh, nice takedown there by Grishin. Good judo, good judo toss there. That was beautiful. Garner had a double body lock. Grisham blocking the knee there, almost got the takedown. A minute 41 now left in the opening round, scheduled for five five-minute rounds to crown an interim heavyweight champion. Right hand from Grisham, his hands are low though. Very sneaky straight right, and then the uppercut by Grisham. Garner swings wildly with the left. Overhand right misses, but has Grisham along the ropes once again. Shoots in a right hand to the body. Grisham now looking to pummel, looking to just get dominant position. He's the taller individual here, Pat. Yeah, he's, he is, but, uh, you know, with all that weight dragging your arms down, you wonder how tired Grisham's going to get also when you got a heavy man laying on you like that. Final 60 seconds of the opening round. Garner moves Grisham into the corner again. Pace has slowed. Garner talked about his ground fighting, but he's not able to uh, demonstrate it for us if he can't get the takedown on the lighter Grisham. On the exit, Grisham lands a knee, catches Garner with the right. Garner now connects with the left on the counter. 30 seconds left in the open round. Great head movement by Grisham, changing levels, faking takedowns. That was pretty cool. Body lock by Garner now. Let's see if he can try to take this to the Let ground. The Going for the trip takedown. Does so right into side control. But time is of the essence here. Ten seconds left in the opening round. Keep fighting. Ten seconds. Keep fighting. Yeah, ten seconds. Garner thought that was the, uh, the signal to the end of the round. But the whistle is a ten second warning. Uh, oh, and it was Christian. You saw looking for the arm lock from the bottom there, but uh, great round of action as a wild start to the NFL season. Who would have ever believed the Detroit Lions would be 5-0? and oh, You can get caught up with all the news from the National Football League with Inside the NFL. Wednesday's on Showtime. Wow, the winning on the changes. Second punch. Remember, he's not there for the first punch. Remember, he leans back. He's there for the second punch, okay? Good job taking him down. Next time down the road, suck his legs out. Let's rest on the ground. We're not resting the clinch. We're resting on the ground, all right? Rest on top. Garner, of course, was supposed to meet this man, Guram Guganishvili, the injured, undefeated heavyweight champion who is sitting at ringside. And, of course, it is most likely going to be the case when he recovers that he will face the winner of this fight to unify the titles. There's the bell. Hold time. Seconds still need to get out of the ring. Referee signals for action. Again, Kenny Deuce Garner, red tape around the gloves. There's a jumping knee attack from Grisham.
Anderson with the blue tape around his gloves. There's some push kick keeping Garner at bay. Yeah, he's trying to keep the reach, the reach advantage. But Garner just bomb rushing it. And again has him pinned along the ropes where he'll want to just continue to drain the energy from Grisham who's trying to fight his way out. Yeah, Grisham, it's, I mean, I have to be honest with you, you can tell he's got that strict Russian boxing style. And very, very uh, good technically, but it's hard to show that when you got somebody bum rushing you that's 35, 40 pounds bigger. Gardner was trying to drop levels looking for the double leg takedown, being thwarted momentarily here by Grishin. Has the underhook, but has left that right side of his body where the, the liver is open, and Gardner has taken his shots. One minute gone here in the second stanza. Laura Ranello along with Pat Militich and our entire Showtime Sports crew coming to you from Grand Canyon University Arena in Phoenix, Arizona. This is M1 Challenge, the interim heavyweight title fight. Nice movement there by Grisham, ducking that right hand, but again, unable to circle away, Pat. He has to create distance, utilize the real estate of the ring, or he's going to be in trouble. Like I say, it's it's easier said than done when you've got somebody bum-rushing you constantly. Garner's doing a good job of keeping pressure on Grisham. Left to the body by Garner. Locking those hands, look Locking out. Scoop him up for the double leg, gets the takedown. And now into the guard right above us here. Five of Garner's seven wins have come via form of knockout. Grishin has two submission wins on his resume. Tell you, those ropes are basically steel cables with a with a hose around the outside of it. When you're laying on that bottom rope, man, that's like a that's like a steel bar. Posturing up is Garner. In fact, he gets all the way up to his feet, and the referee is going to allow Grishin to get back up to a vertical base as well. And Grishin is taking his sweet time. He looks like he's hurt. Again, Christian backing up. No bull rushing here, Patty backs up along to the ropes. He needs to circle. Absolutely, he does. Nice little uppercut hook attempt by him. But Garner doing a great job, man, using his weight, making, making Christian carry it basically the entire fight. On the exit, lands a one-two uppercut, misses for Christian, trying to wade his way out of trouble. But Garner again, sticking to him like Velcro. Under two minutes now remaining in the second stanza. I'm surprised Garner's not dropping right down to the legs again because Grisham was not able to stop that takedown at all. Garner looking for the body lock fans in Phoenix getting restless. They've been spoiled tonight. Yeah. Tough position for uh, Garner to get that takedown with the over-under with a taller man. Exchanging knee strikes again to the midsection. Grisham keeps reaching up, looking for that guillotine choke. But, uh, you know, that's actually kind of dangerous. Guys can get in on your legs pretty easily if you don't do it quick. There's a body lock and a takedown by Grisham, who has top position now. Butterfly hook by Garner, but let's see what Garner can do from his back. Because Grisham needs to fight his way back into this into this title fight, interim title tilt. Yeah, well, he needs to posture up here and start unleashing some bombs. Let's go, get off your back. Let's go, go to your side. 45 seconds left in the round. Grisham, though, just putting his head down low, now posturing up, backing up momentarily. Oh, an interesting guard pass. Well done there. You know, that's, He's still straight right here with Kazushi Sakuraba, now Maxim uh, Grishin. That's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu right there. Beautiful pass into the full mouth, Grishin. That was very sweet indeed. And he now has the biggest advantage he's enjoyed throughout the fight. But again, only 10 seconds remaining. The arm is there for the taking, transitioning for the arm bar. Grishin looking to submit him. Well defended and Garner escapes as Grisham was looking for the arm bar. Great finish to the round by Grisham. Absolutely. Good hustle to get that takedown on the bigger man. 
Went for the finish. Good job, everything's fine. He's not a good wrestler, so don't worry, you're doing a fine job. Everything is okay. Yeah. I'm gonna wait with you, just breathe deeply. Very deeply. You have to breathe. Keep on breathing. Keep on breathing. Very good. Everything is normal. Just continue to work the way you were working before. Here's Grishin, he's got the, he lowers his grip down around the hips so he can take him down. Works a lot better the lower your grip is. Good job of getting that takedown. Here's the end of the round. He heard the whistle for 10 seconds left. Went for the armbar, was not successful. Didn't have enough time. We heard from Russian translator Alex Savitsky. In between rounds, we thank him for helping us. And of course, a very familiar uh, camp in the corner of Grishin. Of course, uh, names that are connected to Fyodor Emelianenko. As the round begins, this is the third. Scheduled for five five-minute rounds. A body shot, another body shot by Garner. Those short shots by Garner are hitting hard, man. He's got some power in there. You heard through our interpreter, Alec, the Russian corner saying that Garner doesn't know how to wrestle. Well, I mean, he obviously did not grow up wrestling his entire life. I wouldn't say he doesn't know how to wrestle, but he's having trouble right now, isn't he? Take down by Grishin. Grishin knows a thing or two about wrestling as he takes the big guy down. And now, oh, there's a smart move uh, by Garner. I don't know if it's very sports, but like he, he put himself out of the playing surface there. Instantly, as if a guy does that, that tells me he's tired, he doesn't want to fight. He should not be rewarded and be stood up like that. He should be on his back because he wanted out of the he wanted out of the ring. And he should be warned. And if it happens again, I would say take a point away because you're Absolutely. right. Absolutely, and he should be on his back right now. They should restart it on the back. Instead, he has Grishin in the corner again. Has the space, but not delivering any strikes with the knees. Referee imploring them to do something. Now Grishin's proved that he can get the takedown if he can get the double underhook, so he needs to fight for that position again. Garner obviously right now a little tired. Still laying his weight on him. I'm waiting for Garner to open up and start throwing bombs. Stinging him with those body shots to the ribcage. Two of them. Finally Grishin moves away. Left push kick. Garner misses with the left, comes in, gets caught with the left hook from Grishin. Good head movement. Well, there he got stuck with the left hand, and now Grishin gets rocked with the right, looking for the takedown, doesn't get it, sprawling his corner, back on his feet. Grishin now in the butt scoop position, referee will bring him to his feet. Less than three minutes now remaining in the third round. And again, Grishin getting, I mean, the referee's got to get him up. You haven't had a 255-pound guy hey, laying on you for now, huh? I'm also not a, a professional mixed martial artist. I'm an announcer. These guys <laughs> got to fight. And there's a one-two from Garner. I think Grishin got rocked with that one. Midway through the third round. Short left hand from Garner. Fatigue written all over the face of Maxim Grishin. Grishin yet I will credit him here. He is still in the game, but looking for here's a Hanegoshi, but with the wizard. Well defended by Garner. I'm surprised he fell to his guard twice in a row after failed takedowns. He must feel confident that he can get a submission or he's just that tired. One minute, 57 seconds left in the third round. Kenny Garner in top position. Maxim Grishin on the bottom. Oh, my. And there is one of the what easiest wins I've ever seen in my life. A reversal that was, yeah, wow, yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat. That was a treat. When you're going to fall over, it's called stick your arm out. It's called a post. Put it on the ground and they can't roll you over. That's one-on-one, -on -one, brother. Cross face there by Grishin. Now looking for the legs. Oh, figure four by Garner to defend it. And now Garner back in top position. Don't go for a submission where you're going to lose position. Well, what's the same? Position before submission. Now some ground and pound from Garner momentarily posturing up. Can't just lay there. Our mutual friend, good old 
JR, WWE Hall of Famer Jim Ross would be calling this bowling shoe ugly right about now, Pat. Everybody loves JR. Less than a minute remaining in the third round. I went out for the bowling team because my family couldn't afford shoes. <laughs> 45 seconds left in the third round. Garner with a right hand. That was an up kick to the head of a grounded opponent. Referee. Go over there. Go over there. Getting Garner to get up. Look at these guys. Both of them very, very fatigued. Over there. Huh. 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 Kick. Kick to the head. On the ground with the opponent. I said time. Okay. Right. No kick. No ground with the opponent. Right. Are you okay? Are you okay? You ready to continue? You ready? Yeah. All right. Ready? Hey, referee called for timeout, but as you heard the whistle go, we believe there's uh, less than 10 Four. seconds left time, in the time, time. round, and now a wardrobe malfunction. Time was called. Bell goes, uh, yikes. Cut this off. It's called communication. Ah! Wow. Takes all kinds, I guess. Uh, and, uh, an interesting round. I'll leave it at that. The round is officially over. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. There's and if we will uh, listen into the round here, let's get Alan to uh, translate. You have to throw him all the time. Continue to throw and then sit on top of him and finish the fight. Again, keep on breathing, but always remember you have to throw him and end up on top of him. Why are you trying to do the leg locks? Just sit on top of him. Just finish the round. Continue. Do light job. And constantly, as soon as he throws the punch, tries to meet him. A look at Vinny Magalash warming up in the dressing room. The Abu Dhabi and M1 Challenge Light Heavyweight Champion getting set to make the first defense of his title. He'll defend the belt against Mikhail Zayats. That's coming up in tonight's main event. Now, Pat, you have... Oh, well, let's listen here first. Garner's corner. All right, Pat, I wanted to get your thoughts on uh, the great job the translator is doing, but you as a, a trainer of so many champions, have you, have you ever told one of your fighters to just sit on the couch? Well, I think in translation, what he was saying is get a takedown, Get him out and pound this guy out. Quit going for submissions where you end up on the bottom. And it was actually, I think, very good advice from his corner. Garner in the black and white Trump's Christian. The black and yellow just flopping to his back. We have seen action before, and I believe it was earlier in my career I saw a fighter, and the name escapes me now, who continually did this. Who was ended, he ended up being disqualified. But just, you know. It's called timidity. Timidity. There you go. Passivity. Not wanting to fight. He looks like he wants to bait Garner, and Garner's going for the bait. For 20 left in the fourth round, as Garner now ground and pounding from side control. Side control crucifix, not a pleasant place to be. And from the crucifix position, he continues to batter away at the base of Christian. Christian now trying to take a page out of Garner's playbook, looking to, to slide out underneath the ropes and... Uh, Let's see if he stands him back up. Wow. Far be it for me to criticize any professional athletes because it takes heart and courage for these guys to do what they do, but man, they're not in the, they, they finally did it right, though, Pat. Hey, 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 but you can't do it for one and not do it for the other. 50-50, buddy. What the? <laughs> Referee Raw Nation gets it right that time as Gardner now gets back on his feet. And Gardner's saying, get him up. Bring him up. Look at Kenny. I tell you what, man. He's still got gas in the tank, buddy. Here he comes. Leg kick by Grisham. Knee countered by Gardner. 
There's a push kick by Grisha. Nice back fist. Overhand right by Garner. Misses. Now they come to close quarters again. Now Garner with a knee and another knee to the rib cage. Grisha trying to block. Anticipating another knee strike from Garner. Garner bumping with that shoulder, trying to get some distance to get a punch off. There it is. Maybe the double unders. Can he lock it up and get a takedown? Less than three minutes remaining in the penultimate round. We are scheduled for five five-minute rounds. I wonder if Gordon Guggenishvili is smiling ear to ear watching what's transpiring in this fight. Here it is. Here it is. Takedown by Grishin. Oh. But Garner reverses it immediately. He was just too fatigued when they hit the ground to even control it. Midway through the fourth round. Close guard Grisham. Garner not even trying to posture up at this time. Short right hand. Can't just lay there, guys. Gotta fight. Come on. Well, the evening began with three lightning quick submission finishes in the opening round, but the action is slowed to a crawl here in this interim heavyweight title fight. A heavy breathing crawl. Garner definitely used his weight well here. And again, for a big man, he does have stuff left in the tank. It seems that Christian is the more fatigued, but he's also been the guy carrying the weight of Garner for the majority of this fight. We'll see if Garner looks to pass a guard or stay here and pound it out. I don't know what he's going to do. They're both resting, my friend. And the referee knows that. It's going to stop the action and bring them back up to their feet eventually. When I, I got to tell you, when you see your opponent like that, not getting up fast, it's time to pour on the gas. Sticks him with the left hand. Goes downstairs to the body. Christian body. is down. Christian is in trouble here. Garner looking to finish the fight. Referee Ron Nation comes in and Christian again. And this is, you know what, when I was calling fights in Japan for pride fighting championships, I thought I was an advocate of the ring because of the, the, the athletic uh, uh, representation, boxing and stuff. I'm not a fan of the ring anymore though, buddy. The cage is, is where it's at because of stuff like this. Right, yeah, it does slow down the action. But some people like bouncing oh. off the ropes and, and using it for leverage. And Easier to stuff oh, and, take down. And for viewing experience, the ring is probably much better. But in this case, it is being used wrongly. For the case. referee needs to know that. There's some knee strikes from Garner. Ten seconds remaining. We are headed to the fifth and final round. And the crowd screaming, no! You just sit down, relax. You have to take him into the corner. You have to take him down and work over there. Just sit straight and you have to tolerate the pain. He's tired as you, but you have to breathe properly right now and tolerate the pain. Don't rest in the clinch, buddy. Don't rest in the clinch, you heard? This is the last round. You see it all? Kenny Garmer, Kenny Garmer coming on strong in this round. Here it is. Cross-sides crucifix made famous by Matt Hughes. Garner using the big heavy hips. There's the big right hand from the guard. Garner doing a good job throwing punches from there. Tell you what, Garner's got a decent gas tank. I mean, this has not been an easy fight for either guy. But Garner, there's a body shot that definitely hurt Christian. Obviously, he went down from that. All right, time for the fifth and final round. They lumber to the center of the ring. Low kick from Grisham. Countered with a right hand from Garner. And again, lather, rinse, repeat. 
the shoulder tonight. Pressure on, baby. We're passing up the way Again, about technique, this one is going to come down to conditioning, I think, Pat. Yeah, it's definitely uh, hard. Your mind plays tricks on you when you get tired in fights. But if, if you haven't made your training ten times worse than any fight could ever be, you don't belong in the ring, quite frankly. You have to torture yourself so that nobody can make you that tired. And that's just the way it's got to be, otherwise you're wasting your time. The insight of former UFC champion and a trainer of the Myriad Champions, Pat Militich. As we continue to watch Kenny Garner and Maxim Grisham. Garner going back to the body, doing a good job of mixing it up on there. So Grisham now looking for the standing guillotine. Garner sticking his head up. Garner's lost to that before. I think it was Gurgen Vili that beat him by that, correct? That is right. There it is. Oh, he got his head out. A minute and a half gone in the last round. Championship round. Knee from Grisham. Right to the liver. By one from Garner. There it is. He's got the body lock. He's got to turn him out to the center of the ring, though, to get this. It's not going to help him from this position. Now trying to turn him down. Couldn't quite finish it. Can't get his hands down low enough. See Garner locking his hands and pushing on the hips. If Christian can't get his hips in close, he can't finish that takedown. It up again. Had his arm around the rope, the tie down. There's Christian with the takedown on Garner now. Showing a lot of heart for as tired as he is, more. I gotta give him credit. A ton of heart here in the fifth and final round, and still plenty of time left. Gotta get that arm across, though. And Gardner escapes, wow. stacking up Christian. Gardner with the right hand to the side of Christian's head, now again from the side control. I think Garner's a little angry. What is this? He's that. He's that. Referee saying that Grisham tapped. All right. I didn't see that tap. I didn't see it. We'll uh, have to check the replay, my friend, because I didn't see it. Oh, and uh, we're being told that there was indeed a tap by Grisham. And what, I mean, some great action there in the final moments. And Kenny Garner. Ends up defeating Maxim Christian and becoming M1 Challenge Interim Heavyweight Champion. And there is a celebration, but uh, he's going to have to do a lot more work if he wants to unify the titles against Gurum Guganishvili, who is an undefeated submission savant. Absolutely. Going to have to work on, work on quite a bit of technique and work on his conditioning. can see Grisham there, you know he's going to sleep well tonight, he's exhausted, flat out exhausted. Uh, showed a lot of heart though there in the fifth round, really tried sucking it up, went for submissions, went for the finish, and uh, when you're that tired, you know, it, uh, it's awfully tough to do.
Great round there. Here's Grishin with the triangle choke. I tell you what, he's working hard. He just didn't get Garner's arm across to cut off one side carotid artery. And using his leg to cut off the other side. Was not able to do that. So really, it's no use pulling down on the head at that point. Because one side of Garner's neck is still open. And he's able to uh, keep blood flowing to the brain. And Garner just hustling, hustling, torquing his way out of that thing. Here it is. Cross side crucifix again, kind of halfway. And dropping the right hands on him. When you get out of that many submissions, I think you come out a little bit angry. And Garner showed that by uh, dropping bombs on Grisham there to finish the fight. Let's send it up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, with a time of four minutes, seven seconds in round number five, the fighter taps out due to strikes. He is the winner by way of submission. He is now the M1 Global Interim Heavyweight Champion, Kenny Deuce Garner. All right, Kenny Deuce Garner, congratulations. You're the new Interim Heavyweight.